Many home embroidery machines today are using multi-part hoops and the 4D embroidery system has been made specifically to help you design for those multi-part hoops. What a multi-part hoop is, is it's a usually it's a larger hoop and what you do is you stitch part of the design on one side of the hoop and then actually take it off your embroidery machine, flip it around and then reattach it and stitch the other side of the hoop. So what that means in the 4D embroidery system is you can design for one, the whole hoop, and then the program actually cuts it in the proper place so you can turn your hoop. So let's see how that's done. I'm simply going to start by choosing my multi-part hoop on the screen. And once I have that done, I'm going to put in a little phrase. And this phrase is I'd rather have roses on my table than diamonds on my neck. And this is kind of a fun, different sort of phrase. Uh, we're going to put roses in there. It was actually written by Emma Goldman, so we'll give her credit for that one. I'm going to click the modern font, and I don't know if you noticed, I put in four lines of lettering and one typing. Very simple and easy. That's something that is different between the 3D and the 4D system. I'm also going to choose the view font. This lets me see what font I'm going to choose before I actually stitch it out. So I can just click on that little viewer use the up down arrows on my keyboard. Now when I do that, you can see in the lower left hand corner of this window, it really is telling me what font is uh, highlighted as I'm going along. I'm going to choose, come back up, and I'm going to choose the Carlton font, which I think is a really nice font. And once I get that done, I'm just simply going to apply. Now, I'm gonna stretch this slightly and once I stretch that slightly, I also want to do something that's called left justification. It's a different way of having your stitches, or excuse me, your letters uh, stitch out. So I'm going to right click, and this gives me all my letter properties. Using the left, center, or right justification, in this case left justification, and I'm just going to adjust my spacing slightly so I'll have a little bit more room between the, uh, the lines of letters on the, on the left hand side. So now that I have my letters in my screen, I am going to use the Express Design Wizard. And with the Express Design Wizard, I'm going to simply draw a little uh, rectangle. And with that rectangle, then come in and choose a clip art picture. And I know I have these beautiful roses here and this wonderful yellow rose. And I'm going to rotate. Now you can rotate after you get done adjusting or uh, right in the picture tab here. I'm going to use the full rose and the program automatically picks the colors that it's going to choose as well as the threads for the different thread palettes. You can reset the thread palette, it's real easy. Let's go ahead and take out that background color. And once I get that done, I'm going to sew this out on probably a kitchen towel. So it's gonna be a woven kitchen towel. And click Next. The program is actually processing the image and then it's going ahead and creating stitches. It's really fast and easy. So once it gets done, you're going to have a design that you personally created from a clip art and actually made it into stitches that you can use on your embroidery machine. So there it is, very fast and easy. And I'm going to click Finish. And it did go ahead and fill up that embroidery area that I had chosen. And so now I still am gonna rotate it just slightly. And then I will, let's move this up and over just a little bit. So now I have the whole design right in the proper places. So at this point, 
you can see I've got one area here, another area over on this side that I want to stitch out. What I'll do is go back to the Design tab and simply click Combine. What that's doing is it's removing any overlaps that may be there and also it has now just created, and let's go ahead and color sort. I love the color sort feature. So it's now created two sides to my hoop, and I didn't even have to think or worry about where to cut it. There's the side A, or the first side that I will stitch, and then here's my second side that I'll stitch. So designing for the yeah, for multi-part hoops. It has been really easy. You just design the, the whole design and then let your 4D embroidery system cut it for you, making it very easy to use those great large hoops that are available today.